friends, loved ones. Uh, what you're seeing here is the line uh, to see my buddy David. Uh, it's quite long. Uh, if you ever find yourself here at the uh, Via Riccasoli, you should know that you shouldn't have to stand in that line. There's a bookshop up there on the left that sells the tickets to the exhibition, but just very few people know about it. Um, I only know about it because some guy said, hey, there's selling tickets up there. So I snagged a ticket and uh, went in ahead of the crowd. So I just saw my buddy. And the reason that I don't have uh, photographs is because we aren't allowed to take them. Uh, there's a, there's some b guards in there, uh, and they are very serious about their jobs, uh, screaming, no photo, no photo. So, you know, I didn't take any photos. But uh, it was a really great experience. Uh, it was quite emotional, actually. It was really weird. You know, that a block of marble could affect you. Uh, you know, it just, you, it wouldn't seem like that. But, uh, but yeah, it was, a, it was really, I mean, it's a beautiful sculpture, obviously. You know, there are billions of pictures of this thing. Um, but to see it in person is quite a different thing. It's, uh, it's absolutely huge. Uh, it's, uh, it's an absolutely huge sculpture. And uh, there's been a lot of talk about the cracks in his ankles because uh, that those little ankles are supporting a lot of weight and what they're going to do about that. Anyway, I digress. Um, yeah, I mean, it was, uh, the detail was beautiful. Michelangelo is one of my favorite artists. And part of it is the art and part of it is the fact that he was a brooding, angry, crazy, angry person. And, uh, and I just love him. Uh, you know, um, I have lots of stories about Michelangelo, of course. Um, we'll save those for another time, probably the Sistine Chapel, but I just wanted to get this in. David, greatness. Um, so now, now I'm going to go see some other things, because uh, I only have one day here, and i got to make it count. It's about 11 a.m., so I need to get them moving. So uh, we'll talk again at the next stop.